Hello and welcome. If I sound awkward, it's because I'm trying to do the equivalent of of reading a teleprompter. I'm speaking into MacBook while I'm reading off my Microsoft Surface. So, hello, my name is Patrick Frazier, and this is the first episode of Arguments in Logic. A you know what? I'm gonna move this over here would be more logical if I can see my quasi teleprompter as I speak so this is the first episode of arguments and logic a podcast about technology its history boy this is really hard to seem natural it's probably better if I just memorize what I'm going to say but it's about the future and the past of technology it's about the future because i see the future i'm like notre dame and of course the socioeconomic issues current events etc and so forth that are going on right now uh, i hope to have guests in the future i'm not going to be selling supplements but some cool gadgets groovy coffee something like that maybe that i would sponsor um, or you can adopt me on patreon maybe i'll do that at some point I don't know. Uh, honestly, I do kind of like the idea of sell, hawking some goods. Uh, it sounds fun, kind of. But in the meantime, since I have zero budget, there will be zero gas. Not that I would necessarily pay for gas, but I'm not going to be doing a lot of promotion. I will be lucky to have more than one person listen, view this podcast. Uh, that said, you never know. You never know. This is for fun more than anything else. I should mention that I have absolutely zero credibility on the topic of technology, apart from the fact that I'm learning to code, but so is everyone. Everyone also has a podcast. That reminds me, I might make a funny joke if you listen long enough. Anything is possible. So if you're asking what's in, in it for you... Um, there's that. Uh, the idea behind the name, Arguments and Logic, uh, comes from uh, different meanings of the word argument in coding, math, and everyday language. So encoding an argument is uh, a value that's passed to a function, which is more like a relation in mathematical terms, but so not to be confused. But anyway, it's an argument is a value that's passed to a function in math it's a value used in mathematical expressions. So if you have some, so for instance, anytime you have something in parentheses and you have the X there, anything with involving the input, the independent variable as they call it in math, of the X variable or whatever letter it is, is gonna be your argument. So if you have parentheses X plus two, squared for instance well that's your argument inside yeah with the x uh, so in math it's a value in a uh, mathematical expression and in everyday language well it's almost self-evident we take it for granted but it's um, a discussion where people express different opinions uh, it's not where you troll someone on Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, whatever. Uh, I guess on YouTube, maybe some trolling goes on there too. But what ties all of these together is the concept of, of logic. I'm going to go with um, the definition of logic from Steven Pinkerton, where he differentiates reason from logic in the sense that Reason is how, well, logic is how you go about trying to solve a problem, and reason is how you then take that problem setting um, strategy and go about actually accomplishing a set of goals. So we might focus more on the logic, but if we're going to talk about socioeconomic issues, there's going to be something about um, reason and uh Potentially, it'll get political, social, economic issues. Uh, I will admit my biases. Uh, 
more or less on the left side of the political spectrum. Uh, I haven't picked out a hammer and sickle yet that matches my ensemble to wardrobe. So more or less pro-market guy. Um, I can entertain, uh, you know, a discussion about Marx or something like that. So, you know, I'm not going to... Um, as someone with an economics degree, I'm more than capable of discussing uh, some of those issues without um, having some sort of um, cardiac arrest. I think it's uh, an issue that should be discussed, but I, I could talk to you about Austrian economists all day long, too. Uh, but that's not really the point. The point is just to be honest about biases that I might have if you're more conservative and you're thinking, oh, this guy never talks about MAGA or, or something like that. Well, you know, there's a reason for that. Uh, anyway, uh, apart from the icky politics that we just talked about, ugh, we all need to take a shower now. Uh, join me and uh, join me, and I'm talking about taking a shower. Oh, what's wrong with me? Anyway, uh, get that image out of your head. Let's get some therapy. Anyway, join me and ex I, I read it. I wrote it, read it, sort of wrote it. So join me on this adventure in technology through the lens of logic. Okay, I'm going to go take a shower. <laughs>